Me and Leah are on our way camping here to a place called Golan in BC and so we're driving west and you want to see the traffic going east. Holy smokes, have a look at this. It's gonna make a glare on the window. What? It's gonna make a glare on the window. Look at that traffic. It's going for miles here, but it's crazy. So Golan's about an hour away, about an hour and 45 minutes away. Drive, so I'm gonna hit you up with a nice wee time lapse driving into the storm here. So keep an eye on the sky, it might look cool. We're just getting pretty close now. We're going to a place called Cedar Lake, which is about a 15 minute drive from Golan, uh, Golan sort of city center. Golan, as I said earlier, is about an hour and 45 minutes away from Banff, so about a two hour trip all in. So when it comes to camping, it is really good fun. It's unreal, it's great crack, but there's a lot of hard work that goes into it, which you're about to see. So when we get there, we're going to have to set up the tent. We're going to have to set up a tarp in case it rains over the tent. And obviously we're going to have to start cooking our, our meals and stuff and set up a fire. So I'm going to show you how it's all done whenever we get here. So here we are. Here's the, the campsite for the night. Just give you the wee tour. Not much so far. We've got just a fire pit and a bit of a seating area. So this is going to be, we're probably going to set the tent up underneath this here tree here. Just in case it does rain, it'll give us some coverage. I don't know how we're going to set a tarp up there though, because there's no real trees to tie to. So step one, as you can see, is just getting all the stuff out of the car and getting it all organised. Leah's already cracking on to step one there, Leah. Uh, Leah, what's this here? Oh. Uh, so this right here is the tent we're going to be using for the day. Um, it's just an outbound three person tent. I wouldn't really like to have three people in here to be honest. It can just about fit two people. But we're going to get this set up here. <music> Got this VR mattress here. Where'd we get it? Canadian Tire. Out of Canadian Tire, much was it? I don't know, 20 bucks. It's like bucks. 20 or 30 bucks. This does the business. It's a hand pump one. So, we gotta get pumping. Can you put that in the bag? So, there's a wee hole. Don't you know, pump it up. You got to pump it up. Don't you know, pump it up. You got to pump it up. As you can see, that's it all pumped up. Just need to stick the sleeping bags in there, along with a few pillows, and we're good to go.
So here we have it folks, his and her sleeping bags as you can see in the tent. Each sleeping bag comes equipped with a blanket inside, just for extra warmth. There you go, and two pillows. So this is mine, this is Liz, and that's her. We'll, sh we'll shut this here for now because we don't want mosquitoes getting in. So I'm going to try and get this fire started here. And there you have it folks. We're cooking with gas now. That's what camping's all about. So for today's dinner, we're gonna have sockeye salmon. It's just basically salmon fillets, good quality ones, with roasted mini potatoes and also roasted mini carrots. I'll flick it around here and show you the ingredients. Here we go, here's the big the big chunks of salmon, as you can see. And then these are the baby potatoes that we're gonna cut up. And these are the carrots we're gonna use. We're gonna stick them on a tin foil with butter and, and some season. There's all time and season paprika and stuff here and then we're going to get them on the fire getting the butter on garlic powder oregano oh, these are delicious looking Okay, we're just realizing that these salmons we've bought are absolutely huge. Lift it up there, Leah, show them the butter. So we've got big slabs of butter underneath there. Salt and pepper? Yeah, on it. yeah, get the salt and pepper on it. Bit of salt and pepper. Well, we should do thyme, thyme as well, I think. Bit yes. of thyme as well. Yeah, I don't know, I don't think so. Get them all wrapped up in the wee packages. There's our carrots, bit of butter, bit of salt and pepper. Bob's your uncle. Salmon, carrots, potatoes. Salmon. There you have it, folks. Oh, she's cooking up nicely. So we're just checking to see if the potatoes are cooked. Oh, cook. Yeah, they're done. Yeah. Oh, I think that's cooked. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. That's cooked. So here we are. Here's the finished product. Unbelievable. That salmon tastes like it just swam straight up the river into my mouth. So we're going to test our three different types of camping chairs here. As you can see, we've got three different types. So we'll start off with this biggest one first. Oh, it's not bad. I like it. There's no cup holder though. But the good thing about this, this chair is, that's pretty good. That'd be nice at night time, come closer. That'd be nice at night time, just looking up the stars. Oh, I like this one, you know, that's, that's actually class. Oh. Yeah, it's not bad, I like it. We'll move on to this next chair here. Oh, so this is more your classic chair. Will you get me the beer, please? So this here's more like your classic sort of camping chair. Um, the good thing about this is it's got Got your beer holder for whenever you want to go hands free. You can just stick your beer in there. Boom. Bob's your uncle. Doesn't really move this that much or anything, but it's still a pretty good chair. We'll move on to this next one. Oh, oh, that may be small, but it sure packs a punch. 
nice and close to the ground. That's proper lounged out vibes. And there's actually a pretty funny story behind this chair. Some really, really nice German fella accidentally took our camp spot about three or four weeks ago. And we just let him know, sorry, mister, you've accidentally taken, taken our campsite. We were here first. So he kindly gave us this chair and then he went off and he actually went home. So yeah, thank you, German fella, if you're watching this. So it's like just after 10 o'clock, we're just getting wrapped up here and getting ready for bed. Not going too hard at it tonight, to be honest. Had like four beers, big day tomorrow. We've got a big hike that we're planning on doing. Plus, I bought a load of worms and like a load of stuff for fishing. I've got my fishing rod with me. I've never caught a fish on my own. Usually I need Dean Day by my side to be able to catch one, but there's a big lake right beside this campground and who knows, I'll stick the worm on the hook, stick it out there, we might catch a fish in here. And if you catch them out here, you can just cook them and eat them for dinner. So if I catch one, I'll cook it and eat it. But uh, yeah, so that's what we've got to look forward to tomorrow, hike and some fishing. Um, so yeah, we're gonna wrap this up now, as you can see, the fire's down. Uh, everything's packed away um, and there's our bed over there for the night so uh, yeah peace out and I'll see you tomorrow big day ahead well what's going on YouTube good morning looks like it's a beautiful morning here at Cedar Lake um, pretty tired slept okay first half of the sleep was a bit bad second half of the sleep slept like a baby reason for the first half of the sleep being bad was because I needed to take a piss which is definitely one of the biggest problems when you're camping in a sleeping bag in a tent because you're all wrapped up in your sleeping bag and then there's other people in the tent and like getting in and out of the tent door is a complete hassle and you're doing it in the, in the dark so if anyone can figure out some sort of invention for not having to get out of your sleeping bag to take a piss they'd be they'd be on day winner they'd be a millionaire I'd be buying it I can tell you that much but uh yeah not much to really report, good sleep. It's about half seven here in the morning. So big day ahead, big hike, do a bit of fishing. I'll give you a wee look out the window here. Blue skies. Oh. So yeah, here's the main event of the morning. He is hiding her face sir. Mmm, Jesus. Them coffee beans taste like they've been flown straight in from Ecuador and into my mouth. Unbelievable. So, the sun's just rising here in Cedar Lake. I'm going to flip you around here and show you exactly what Cedar Lake is. It's gorgeous. Give us, the, give us a wee 360, it's like a wee sand beach. And then they've got this dock, this dock was pretty recently built apparently. It feels like brand new, it looks brand new. So this is where I'm going to do my fishing later on, off this dock. But you can see, I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but there's actually steam rising from the water. Because that sun's hot, it's starting to warm up quick. Coffee on board. It's going to be a good morning. Say cheese. So for breakfast today, <clears throat> we're making like wee hash browns, like wee Canadian hash browns. I know they're different to the hash browns we have back home, but they're great. We got some uh, shredded cheese here, a few eggs, English muffins. We're going to have a grilled tomato and a bit of avocado. So it should be a pretty nice breakfast. So here you have it folks. <coughs> the finished product. And I like putting a bit of sriracha on mine. Some sort of airplane or something. Oh, it's a helicopter. That's a good breakfast. I'll set us up for the day. So we're well into this hike now and we just stumbled up along these power lines. And we're just thinking to ourselves, like, there must be some operation putting these up. These go on forever, and they have to literally cut down trees either side to clear the path of them.
rides through something mental just happened. This guy came on a mountain bike this way, and he was like, yeah, there's a black bear up ahead. He is about 10 minutes away um, in the bushes. But he was like, <laughs> so we were like, what should we do? Should we turn back? And he was like, have you got bear spray? And I said, yeah. And he said, just make a, load of, a lot of noise and you should be all right. But kind of feels unnatural to be walking towards a bear. <laughs> Yeah, I don't feel good. So mainly it bit off more than we could chew. We just heard a couple of rustles and stuff and we were just like, what are we doing? Like walking towards a bear. Like everything I've ever been taught is if there's a bear on the path, go the other way. And like we're on food as well. That guy was on a bike, so it'd be a bit safer if you're just whizzing by it in a bike, but just walking by a bear. Heart was in our mouths there. <laughs> so we're back going back to the campgrounds and then we'll take it from there. So for lunch today we've got fish tacos. That fish this here is gonna be a wee salsa thing, isn't it Leah? Mm -hmm. Jalapenos, sweet corn, onion. Lime cilantro. Lime cilantro. And we've got tortillas in the bag as well. So here we have the finished product, fish tacos. There's Leah's. Hers is a bit nicer done up the line, but we got sour cream and sriracha on there pretty great and if you've made it this far in the video please remember to like and subscribe <laughs>